I'm Sil. Today, we're going to teach him a backflip. Let's see what you can do. If you're signing for a backflip, you want to have your feet about shoulder width apart. And have your arms out in front of you. Turn your hands up to the side. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you step for the backflip, you're going to raise up on your toes. Then you're going to lower down onto your heels of your feet and bend your knees. Then you're going to jump up and your shoulders are going to lock above your head. Yeah. Once you do that, you're going to jump up and then when you hit the peak of your jump, you're going to tuck your knees to your chest and grab your legs. Okay. So I, I don't jump right when I get off the ground? No. Okay. Very peak. Jump as high as you can and then tuck. Okay. Where do I look? You want to look ahead always until the last minute of your jump. What, what if I look up? Nothing will happen. You won't get as much as a uh, s If you arch your neck backwards, you're more likely to screw up the back of the fall. You're more likely to jump backwards where you want to jump up. So? so this is how you set up, right? Yep. Let's go down. Yep. And you want to jump straight up. Right. You want to keep your chest hollow. Throw this back and then bring it up. So when you jump up, you want to stay hollow, which means your chest is going to be bent in like this. Okay. Up like this. Let's see. Once you hit your peak like that, then you're just gonna tuck your knees in and jump. Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. I know that you are wrong. Headstrong, we're headstrong. Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. I know that you are wrong. And this is not where you belong. Once you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to snap your arms until they hit the ground. So just try that. Okay? Now what you're going to do, right when your arms hit the ground, you're going to tuck your knees to your chest as fast as you can. Okay? Like like grab them? Yeah. Ready? Go. Okay. Let's try it one more time, and we're going to try doing one on the ground again. Ready? Go. Good. Uh, stand up. to teach someone a backflip, it's really helpful if you can spot them. I'm going to show you how to spot someone in a backflip. What you want to do is you want to have your right hand in the middle of their back. If you're left-handed, you can go on the other side of the go. But you want to have your dominant hand on the back, okay? So right near the shoulder blades. Then when they jump up and start to flip, what you want to do is push on the back of their legs. This helps them spin around so they don't land on the neck. Okay, so Sean, we're going to try spotting with two hands. Ready? Go. See? This hand holds their body up, and this hand whips it around this arm. Okay? So we're going to try that again. By doing that, you get the sense for it, so they don't fail or fall out or whatever. Now, once I get better, you can just use one hand. What this hand's going to do is just going to hold the back up in the air so they rotate around your hand. Okay? You're going to try one of those. See? And then they should be able to do it by themselves. Good.
wearing a back flip, the best thing you can do is get a pair of spotters. Is it helps you get the feeling for it, and it's much safer, okay? So we're going to double spot Silla right now, okay? So remember, when you hit the peak of your jump, you're going to tuck your knees in and hope for the best. Okay? okay. Yeah. Ready? Go. There you go. Okay. Now we're just going to spot you with me. Okay, ready? Same thing. Good. Now you want to hold your tuck a bit longer because you're still landing a good few feet behind you. If you hold your tuck longer, your feet are going to come underneath you and you're going to land straight. Okay? Let's try. So just hold that tuck longer. See? That was much closer. You're only a few inches behind your feet. So we're going to try that again. There you go. Good. Woo! That's it. That. Yeah. Okay. Now right now, I'm helping you tuck a lot by pushing your legs, okay? So now what you have to do is you have to really tuck it as hard as you can. So I'm going to spot you with one hand now, okay? Okay. So tuck it as hard as you can, and the same thing should happen, okay? Okay. Ready? Do that one more time, and then you're going to try it by yourself, okay? Okay. Close. Now what happened there was you opened your tuck a bit more sooner, that's why you land with your chest forwards. If you land going forwards, you know that you untuck too soon, okay? Okay. So tuck it longer. That was still good. See, your feet were only a bit behind you. Good. When you first start backflips, you usually land with your hands on the ground. As you get better, with more practice, you'll slowly be able to land higher and higher up until you land straight. Okay? Okay. So one light spot, and then we're going to try it by, by yourself. Okay? Okay. I barely did anything there. That's you ready to do it by yourself? I'm here. Okay. You ready? Close. Close. You still opened up your tuck too soon. Okay? Let's try it again. Nice. There you go. Yeah, that's it. You just have to work on keeping your hands up so you don't go like this. There you go. I help tuck by bending your legs in like this. Yeah. So that's what you gotta do. Tuck it as hard as you can to your chest. That's what's gonna give you the rotation that you're in.
hold it a bit longer. You want to release once you see in front of you. Okay. That was good. So when, when I'm a, I can't, when I look straight, yeah. uh, I flip, right? Yeah. Do you have to wait until I see you again? Yeah, that's when you should untuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. There. One more. And you got it. That so went, close. You went back a little bit there. That means you didn't tuck as good. You cut you untucked a little bit too soon. That was good. You're right there. You just have to hold that tuck a bit longer and then you won't land with your hands. Okay. Last chance. Huh? Nice! The difference between that jump and your last jump? That jump? No, 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 Put up your toes. Last time you did. Yeah, so when you had your toes up there, that's why I think you landed better. Evolution stops here.